Inyo County Assistant District Attorney Joel Samuels confirmed that he has given notice that he will leave his job March 7th. Ben and Kessler filed this report. Samuels had earlier taken out petitions in lieu of filing fees to run for the position of Inyo County District Attorney. Now, as for his plans to run for office, Samuels told Sierra Wave Media that he has not made any decisions. He said he currently, quote, has no active candidacy, end quote. However, Samuels also said he is keeping his options open, and he made it clear that he will continue to work as an attorney. Now, why has he resigned his position? Samuels said only, quote, I no longer believe the office of the district attorney is headed in the right direction, end quote. He declined to elaborate. Samuels had long worked as a deputy and as assistant to former Inyo County District Attorney Art Millay. When Millay retired, he supported the Inyo County Board of Supervisors selection of Samuels as the new DA. Now, former District Attorney of Inyo County Phil McDowell recommended attorney Tom Hardy. The supervisors made him their choice. Now, when it came time for the DA election, Hardy stepped forward to run, and it seemed his assistant did too. The last day to file declaration of candidacy is March 7th, Joel Samuels' last day on the job. Well, in your county, residents and businesses are eligible for low interest loans and grants as a result of the Inyo County Board of Supervisors approving Resolution 2014-09, proclaiming a local drought emergency. Now, getting information from a press release from Inyo County, as part of its proclamation of a local drought emergency, the Inyo County Board of Supervisors requested state assistance to offset the effects of severe drought conditions that exist throughout Inyo County. Counties throughout California have joined Inyo in proclaiming local drought emergencies and as a result of these proclamations, the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture has designated California as, quote, an agricultural disaster, end quote, area. Now, as a result of this designation, 54 California counties have now become eligible for SBA economic injury, disaster loans, or rural, re rural repair and rehabilitation loans and grants. Now, the deadline to apply for these loans is September 15th. Applicants may apply online using the electronic loan application via SBA Secure website, and that website is disasterloan.sba.gov. Disaster loan information and application forms are also available from SBA's Customer Service Center, and that toll-free number is 800-659-2955. Now, the Rural Repair and Rehabilitation Loan and Grant Program is for very low-income homeowners to repair, improve, or modernize their dwellings or to remove health and safety hazards. More specifically, due to the drought, some Inyo County homeowners with shallow wells may need to drill a new well to access clean, potable water, but do not have the funds available to have this done. Now, to be eligible, the homeowner or occupant must be unable to obtain affordable credit elsewhere and must have very low income, according to that press release, which is defined as below 50 percent of the area median income. Now, applications and information on the rural repair and rehabilitation loans and grants programs are available by calling the USDA customer service at 559-734-8732, or you can email jennifer.torres at ca.usda.gov. Now, for more information on this, you can contact the Inyo County Administrator's Office. That phone number is 760-878-0292, or visit the Inyo County Agriculture webpage for more Inyo County drought assistance information, and that is inyomonoagriculture.com. You can also check our website, sierrawave.net, for the entire press release and those contacts. Well, windy conditions over the past few days in the eastern Sierra. Today, U.S. Highway 395 was closed from Bishop to Bridgeport, to high loads due to high winds and Highway 395 well, it was also the site of an accident. Now, we're getting information from the California Highway Patrol that Saturday, February 15th, about 3.43 p.m., the CHP Bishop Communications Center 
received a report of a tractor trailer combination that had rolled over approximately a quarter mile north of State Route 167 north of Levining. Now at that time, according to the press release, Caltrans changeable message signs were advising U.S. Highway 395 was not recommended for high profile vehicles. A CHP officer from the Bridgeport area responded to the collision and initiated an investigation into the cause of that accident. Now, according to the press release, the driver of the vehicle, Mr. John Miller, age 50, of Pierce, Colorado, and his passenger, Ms. Tiffany Mosley, age 30, of Farmington, New Mexico, were at the scene. Mosley was complaining of pain to her head, neck, lower back, and sustained minor cuts to her arms. Now, the press release states that due to the dangerous winds, a deputy from the Mono County Sheriff's Department transported both Pierce and Mosley to the Levining Fire Department, where they were evaluated by medical personnel. Mosley was then tra transported to Mammoth Hospital by Mono County paramedics. Pierce later stated that he was driving northbound on US 395 at approximately 10 to 20 miles an hour when a gust of wind later determined to be 85 miles an hour, according to an automated Caltrans velocity sensor in the area, toppled his truck and trailer. Now at 4.30 p.m. Saturday, CHP closed the portion of Highway 395 to all vehicular traffic. And from 4.30 p.m. to 8.08 p.m., five CHP officers and one lieutenant manned highway closure locations north of Levining, south of Bridgeport. CHP personnel escorted vehicles through the area in groups of between 40 and 100 at speeds appropriate for the windy conditions. Now, escorted traffic caused delays of up to one hour for motorists. And during this time, high profile vehicles and vehicles pulling trailers were prohibited from traveling on US 395 north of Bishop and south of the California Nevada state line. Now, said Lieutenant R.D. Cohen, the CHP Bridgeport area commander, quote, this is the second time in less than two weeks that a driver was northbound on US 395 and a high profile vehicle passed Caltrans CMS advising travel was not recommended and the vehicle was overturned by the wind resulting in a closure of the roadway. Drivers should strongly consider information contained on advisory signs end quote. The CHP press release stated it also should be noted that the wind combined with blowing sand and rocks broke out the window of a CHP patrol vehicle near that collision location. We'll be back with more news.